what a lovely little trick that was. All right, hello. Today we're going to integrate e to the x multiplied by cos of x. So to do that, we'll use by parts. We'll have the thing to integrate to be e to the x. So when we integrate that, it's just e to the x. And the thing to differentiate, we'll have as cosine. So when we differentiate that thing, we will get minus sine of x. So our integral then is going to be u times v. So e to the x cos x. Take away the integral of u dash v. Well, the minus here and the minus there will become a plus, And we'll have an e to the x sine of x. So we'll do by parts again, keeping the trig function as the thing to differentiate. So we'll have u as sine of x and u dash as cos of x. And the thing to integrate will be e to the x. So when we integrate that, it will give us e to the x again. So all together then, our integral is e to the x cosine of x plus u times v, which is e to the x sine of x. Take away the integral of u dash v, so e to the x cosine of x. And what we see now is that this thing is i, the original integral we started with. They're exactly the same. So we can rewrite this whole thing as i is equal to, and we'll factorize the e to the x out as well, e to the x cos of x plus sine of x, take away i. So we can basically move that to the left-hand side instead, get rid of it there, make it a 2, and then we can divide by the 2. So get rid of that 2, divide by it, and that gives us our final answer. The integral is equal to e to the x on 2, multiplied by cos of x plus sine of x. What a very nice little trick.